Rylan Clark has opened up about the 2024 Eurovision Song Contest as he appeared on Fridays this morning. The presenter, 35, appeared live from Malmö, Sweden, on the ITV chat show amid his coverage of the competition for BBC. During an interview with hosts Dermot O'Leary and Alison Hammond, the latter said, Listen, I'm still holding out for the dream that one day, maybe just one day, there may be a Ryland shaped entry in the future. What do you think Ryland, could that happen? I've heard some of the tracks driving around in the car with you, you would be wonderful. To which Ryland joked, you have heard the tracks, the album's done. Talking about potentially representing the UK at Eurovision, he said, I threaten the delegation every single year and whenever I don't get my own way with something, I go, I'm telling you now, speak to me like that again and I'm going to represent us next year, darling. Yeah, listen, it's always been a dream of mine. Who knows what might happen in the future? Rylan was then asked how 2024 UK entry Oli Alexander is doing ahead of the grand final on Saturday night. It comes as Oli, 33, broke his silence on Wednesday amid criticism of his performance in Sweden on Tuesday evening, revealing that due to a wardrobe malfunction, he was forced to improvise when his microphone pack fell off. Rylan said, you know Ollie's had some ups and downs this year, but H is in a really really great place. The staging is fantastic, the dancers are amazing, his vocals are sounding brilliant. It comes as speaking on Lorraine on Wednesday morning, Ollie addressed recent backlash and explained how his entire Eurovision Song Contest experience so far has been wild, as the show's host called his act naughty. The Eurovision Song Contest ignited excitement worldwide as it launched into its first semi-final on Tuesday, broadcasted by the BBC. Oli, famed for his role in the band Years and Years, took to the stage representing the UK with his song Dizzy. Thrilled to unveil Dizzy, the first single he has written solo, which featured some impressive stage production, Ollie's moment under the spotlight received a varied response from viewers who quickly voiced their opinions online. Ollie was accused of being off-key and out of tune by some fans watching, but others argued the singer struggled due to his mic pack falling off mid-performance. Chatting with Lorraine on her ITV show on Wednesday, Ollie was all smiles as he caught up with the Scottish TV presenter via video link. Ollie admitted, This whole Eurovision experience is wild. Last night was amazing. It was the first time performing in the arena and on TV. It was just, yeah, it was amazing. He then revealed, I had a slight wardrobe malfunction, my mic pack fell off, and had to improvise but that's fine, it's live TV, it happens. You did so, so well with that, Lorraine then told her guest, adding, I think a lot of people, I noticed it, but I think a lot of people wouldn't have noticed that the mic came away. So you're having to adapt, so well done on that. And also, what a naughty performance I'm glad to say. I thought it was fantastic. Those dances. They are just fantastic. Follow Mirror Celebs and TV on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.